dear students today we will discuss on cultivation practices of moon bee under the outline of introduction geographical distribution botany climatic requirements soil improve variety soil preparation seed seed rate seed treatment and spacing weed management irrigation and nutrient management and plant protection all of the host introduction Moon bean botanically recognized as Vigna radiata belong to the Fabaceae family. It is an excellent and expensive source of vegetable protein and rank high among the different pulse crops. Moon bean contain 23.9% protein rich in lysine which is generally low in cereals. Mature seeds are rich in proteins and cooked seeds from a valuable constituent of diet of considerable numbers of pupils in country the tender pores of moon bean also eaten as a vegetable pulses are used as a light diet administered during fever the flour of moon bean is used as excellent substitute of soap for cleaning the body moon bean is a legume crop it has the capacity to fix atmospheric nitrogen through symbiotic nitrogen fixation it is also used as green manure crop D. Candole believe that moon bean has originated in India. According to Babylon, also moon bean is native of India and Central Asia. It is grown in these areas since prehistoric periods. That's in geographical distribution. Moon bean is grown throughout the uh, South Southern Asia, including India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, etc. It is also grown in the parts of Africa and USA and has recently been introduced in Australia. In India, moong bean is grown on an area of about 3 million hectares with the production of about 1 million tons. The major moong bean growing states are Orissa, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Karnataka and Uttar Pradesh. Orissa stands first in area production as well as productivity of moong bean in India. Moong occupied 3.2 thousand hectares and the total production of 2.7 thousand tons during 2018-19 in Punjab. Its average yield was 8.34 quintals per hectare. And next is botany. Moon bean recognized as Vigna radiata belongs to the Fabaceae family. It has a diploid uh, chromosome numbers uh, 22. Uh, next one is a root. Uh, moon bean is a deep rooted plant. The lateral branches of roots contain nodules which contain nitrogen fixing bacteria. Stem. Stems are herbaceous in nature, uh, branching at the base and covered with short, fine brownish hairs. Leaves are uh, alternate trifoliate with long petioles, each leaflets uh, being large ovate rounded at the base and pointed at the apex. Moonbin has racemos inflorescence which bear 10 to 25 flowers. Flowers are greenish to bright yellow with a grey uh, tinct keels 1 to 1.75 cm in diameter. Calyx and corolla both are 5 in numbers but corolla or petals are very uh, unequal and papillated in structure. Endosium contain 10 stamens, usually 9 plus 1. Gynosium generally monocarpellary. Seeds are generally small, slightly flattened and green brown. And next is climatic requirement. Moving grown in a wide range of climate conditions, a warm humid climate with temperature ranging from 25 degrees centigrade to 35 degrees centigrade with 400 to 550 mm rainfall well distributed during the growing period of 60 to 90 days is suitable for moonbeam cultivation. Next is soil. A well drained loamy to sandy loam soil is suitable. Saline, alkaline or water logged soils are unsuitable. Next is improved variety for Punjab conditions. All of the first ML 2056, ML means Moongo Fluviana. This variety released in 2016. Its plants are erect and medium height, uh, approximately 78 cm height. Pole formation is profuse and each pole contains 11 to 12 seeds. 
it is tolerant to yellow mosaic virus and leaf spot disease it mature in about 75 days and grains are shining green and average grain yield is about 4.6 quintal per acre next is ml818 it released in 2003 its plants are erect and medium stature each pod contain 10 to 11 seeds it also tolerant to mosaic virus and leaf spot disease it mature in 72 days its average grain yield is about 4.2 quintal per acre next is agronomic practices land preparation give 2 to 3 plowing followed by planking to crush the clods and eradicate the weeds moon can also be sown without any preparatory tillage with zero till till time of sowing uh, sowing should be done in the second fortnight of july seed rate use 8 kg uh, viable seeds uh, for per acre uh, next is seed inoculation wet the seed recommended for 1 acre with minimum amount of water mix thoroughly one packet of rhizobium with it on a clean pakka floor and let it dry in shed so the seeds immediately the rhizobium and fungicides can be applied simultaneously uh, next is method of sowing uh, sowing should be done uh, at a row spacing of 30 cm the plant to plant distance should be about 10 cm and so 4 to 6 cm deep with seed drills for getting higher yield adopt a bidirectional method of sowing such as sow the crop in both directions at 30 cm row spacing using half the seed rate in each directions next weed management practices to control the weeds there are some Uh, preventive measures should be taken such as use clean seeds always use well decomposed organic manure uh, keep irrigation channels clean and free from weeds two hoeing may be given one about 15 days and, uh, and the other about 30 days after sowing spray 1 liter per acre stomp 30 ec or pentamethylene uh, within 2 days of sowing and there are some common weeds of moon bean such as cyanodon dactylon amaranthus viridis sanctus cinereus euphorbia species etc next is irrigation and nutrient management irrigation apply the first irrigation 3 to 4 week after sowing further irrigation may be given by uh, only if the rain fails next fertilizer application and drill 5 kg nitrogen in the form of 11 kg urea and uh, Uh, 60 kg PTO5 in the form of 100 kg single of superphosphate or SSP per acre at the time of sowing. Next is harvesting and threshing. The crop should be harvested when 80 kg of the pods mature. Harvest the crop uh, with sickle. Do not approve the plants spike tooth type power thresher for wheat can be used to thresh moong after proper modifications. Uh, but in case of fertilizer application where dap used omit nitrogen application apply potash fertilizer uh, only when the soil test shows deficiency of potash uh, next is plant protection white fly white flies are hemipterans that typically feed on the underside of plant leaves they comprise the family aleroidi aphids are small sap sucking insect and members of the super family aphidoidi uh, common names includes green fly and black fly although individuals within a species can vary widely in color jessid is also a sucking type pest the pest inject uh, toxins into the leaves while feeding which results in abnormal changes in leaves semilupers semilupers feed on leaflets and pods they are abundant during the rainy seasons early stage larva of heavy caterpillars have long whitish hair tobacco caterpillar uh, is polyphagous insect the larva cause direct uh, damage to crop pod borer bore into the pods and eat the seeds and next is control measures of insect pest white fly and aphids uh, have sucking type mouth parts white fly can be di- uh, difficult to control with insecticides most uh, less toxic products such as insecticide soap neem oil or petroleum based oil controlled only those white flies 
that are directly sprayed. These four plants must be thoroughly covered with the spray solutions and repeat application may be necessary. Uh, in the case of chemical uh, insecticides, imidacloprid and acetaminophen are much more effective against mite fly. Uh, next is aphids. Over fertilizing a plant can enhance aphids population. So using small amount of small amount of fertilizers throughout the growing seasons can help to reduce population of aphids and water hose and nozzle with adequate pressure is enough to knock the aphids from the foliage but not to damage the plant once of the plant. Aphids cannot climb the back up the plants and will often starve to death. And aphids can be controlled by the application of curacron at the rate of 500 ml per acre. And next is semilupur. Semilupur is also controlled by Ecalux, uh, Ecalux 25 uh, EC at the rate of 800 ml per acre. Uh, in case of semilupur, NPV and Viveria basiana can help effective control. Neem oil and garlic extract can be sprayed on the foliage to control the pest. Next is tobacco and hairy caterpillar. Plow the soil to expose and kill the pupa, especially in summer season. Uh, set up light trap at the rate of 2 per acre or ferrumen trap at the rate of 15 per hectare to attract male moths. Hairy and, hairy and tobacco caterpillar uh, mainly controlled by uh, Nuvaluron at the rate of 150 ml per acre. Bristol beetle and pod borer can be controlled by application of delta methrin and corazin respectively. Next is disease. This is yellow mosaic disease of many legumes in India and other South Asian countries is transmitted by Germany viruses belonging to the family Germany and genus the Bagomo virus. Moving yellow mosaic disease is characterized by a bright yellow mosaic on the leaves of infected plants and cause significant loss of moving crops in India. This is transmitted by white fly and is more severe in creep mold. And next is Cercospora leaf spot disease. Uh, Cercospora leaf spot. Cercospora leaf spot disease is a important devastating disease of green grass. The symptoms appears on leaves as water-soaked spot with grayish border. The petioles, stems, and pores are also get affected the pathogens. And next is bacterial leaf blight. Green gram crop suffer from bacterial leaf blight disease uh, caused by Xanthona species during creep season. Symptoms observed on all above ground parts of plants such as stem, leaves, and pores. Small deformed seeds were developed on dark brown spotted pots. Next is web blight. Web blight is moving, uh, web blight of moving caused by Rhizoctonia solenae. The fungi affects all above the ground part of the plants, such as leaves, petioles, stems, and pots, but uh, uh, is most destructive on foliage during second to third week of plant growth, causing seedling mortality. The seedlings is killed when the Listen on hypogotides. And next is disease control measures. Intercrop with known host crop like sorghum, pearlipillet, and maize control of white fly by spraying uh, imidacloprid or astamiprid will be effective to control white fly. Uh, in fact, a plant uh, should be removed, destroy host weeds, grow disease resistant varieties such as ML818. Uh, it is Cercospora leaf blight and bacterial leaf blight has same measures. Remove and all destroy infected debris from soil, avoid growing fresh growth in the infected fields. Seed should be treated with therum or captain at the rate of 2 to 3 gram per acre per kg. Uh, spray Dithan M45 at the rate of 2 kg in 1000 liters of water per hectare. Grow recent varieties such as ML2056 and ML818. And next is web blight. Uh, now, control measures for web blights. Use seeds from 
seed from the disease free uh, crop or seed should be disease free mulching reduce the disease incidence maintain low crop population density and wide uh, row planting spray dithan z78 at the rate of 2 kg in 1000 liters of water per hectare and in the end thank you stay home stay safe